two cases. Kind of a kitchen, uh, and a collection of the old uh, invalid feeders and the pat boats. A lot of milk bottles, a lot of coffee grinders, um, stuff like that. Cast iron fireplace around, and a whole bunch of kerosene lamps. Uh, I, I buy what I like, and I like those things, so I tend to lean toward them. But there's probably 80 different kerosene lamps right now in this booth, and I've got another 50 at home to bring out when these are gone. Brass school bill, correct classrooms, pharmacy, brass, pedestals and mortises, a whole lot of tin containers, a whole lot of lamps like I said before, some pieces of walnut Victorian furniture, not a whole lot, but some. This one is more of a generalized uh, Roman case, everything in here from uh, Cast iron uh, stuff to match saves, to jewelry, a lot of badges from foundries and things, some American Legion pins, watch fob bases, uh, raw silver coins. These are dance cards from 1914-1915, buck a piece, your choice. Uh, an old interesting police badge, I think it's an Indian. Uh, it's Indian. Uh, don't know where it's from, but it, it's it's a very nice looking badge, I thought. There's a lot of the uh, chauffeur badges, just a variety of, of interesting items. If you're in the copper luster, well, I've got uh, B39, the Roscoe Antique Mall, South of White, got a ton of copper luster, some English coronation items. Some press glass, not a whole lot anymore. Uh, some art glass, no glass, uh, a lot of place pictures. Uh, Irish Belique, I got a ton and a half of the uh, black mark Irish Belique. A whole lot of candy containers, a lot of green glass, a couple of real nice serving pieces. Uh, just this is more of the, of the better type of, of, of glassware. Uh, everything for card, uh, a couple of very nice little uh, uh, conduit sets, Victorian era, blue and yellow sort of very interesting. Um, come see me, Roscoe Antique Mall, South of White, with 39. Ask for Jim. Thanks.